fish is the only sustainable resource that we have. You don't plant the seed, you don't fertilize it. All we do is harvest it, and they take care of themselves. We see this abuse of government that is green lighting this project to move forward without any input from people like yourself, without any studies being done on the economic impact and the impact to wildlife, uh, the impact to the right whales. Both pile driving for the wind turbines as well as operational wind turbines, that confuses whales, it messes up their ability to navigate via echolocation and to communicate with each other. And what has happened overseas in the UK is that a tremendous amount of whales have beached themselves. This is the carcass of a fifth sperm whale that has washed up on England's east coast, becoming confused and beaching in the shallow waters of the North Sea. Since the windmill companies have been here surveying, with their seismic survey vessels, we've seen a whole bunch of whales washing up in this area. I can understand an environmentalist wanting to protect fish, but if they're really serious about protecting fish, they would be up in arms about what's going to happen to the bottom, because fish depend on the bottom. Orsted did the project. They put in turbines that wound up changing the tidal patterns and created sediment plumes six kilometers long and up to 500 meters wide that can be seen from space. They took a vibrant local fishing area and destroyed it. The current lifespan of a wind tower is 25 to 30 years. Once these platforms are put in place, that ground is lost forever. So you're sacrificing hundreds of years of production of food for a 25-year plan that is bound to fail. They haven't worked anywhere in the world. We have perfect examples of other countries that have tried this. Germany, for example, is on this path to get to 50% renewable. And now freezing deaths are on the rise. And they're now subsidizing coal-generated electricity. Germany is turning on their coal plants because it's not blowing, the wind is not blowing. Obviously they can't function when there's no wind, and when there's too much too wind, much. They, they, they break them. Like so. what we're seeing today. Just days after going online, one of the Block Island Wind Farm's five turbines has been knocked out of commission. The fact that the first Block Island Wind Farm in the country, four out of five turbines don't work right now, they have stress fractures inside the turbines the two cables that they put in in 2016 under the ground came undone eight months later and they're still five years later trying to figure out how to get them back in the ground. I, I think when it's all said and done, these things are gonna to prove to be an environmental catastrophe. We need affordable, reliable electricity and wind and solar just haven't proven they can be part of that mix. People want a quick solution. There are no easy solutions.